This is Rob from the Songbirding Podcast. I'm just going to show you a real quick trick with the eBird mobile app that should help speed up uh, recording birds uh, on your observation list quickly. So I'm going to hit start checklist here. And for example, I know I've got a warbling vary here. So most people, maybe not all, know that you can type in a number and then a uh, banding code or even just the full thing. Let's say there's two gray catbirds here. I can type two, tap gray catbird, and there we go. But the one thing I notice that a lot of people do not know is adding to that beyond that, let's say, first two catbirds. Yes, you can tap, but, and that's okay for catbirds, maybe, because there's not that many of them. But let's say I just had five Canada geese go by, but now I had another 23 Canada geese go by. Well, you don't need to tap 23 times. You can just type in the number, tap the species, and the app will do the math for you. So Canada goose is a good example for the winter for me, but uh, red-winged blackbird right now, let's say I got five red-winged blackbirds, and then I encounter two more. Well, I don't need to keep typing in red-winged blackbird if it's on the screen there for me. So I can just type in like 14 and hit it, four, and then tap it. You just tap the species after you tap the number and that'll do the math for you. And you can always tap the species, go back and change it to correct anything you got wrong. Another quick tip is down here where it has a check mark. You can put, you can click that and get just the species you have with you so that you can go and keep adding and adding. So as you can imagine, this can be pretty handy. Now, if you don't know banding codes, I will leave a link underneath this video that you can follow to learn banding codes. Most cases, pretty intuitive, but there's always exceptions. Um, things like, let's say the black-throated green warbler, completely unintuitive. Um, many of the wrens, like Carolina wren, you can't just go Kawa, or sorry, Carolina wren, you can't just go C-A-W-R, but actually, yes, you can, because the eBird app knows uh, these conflict codes. So uh, I'm not going to get Canyon Wren where I live. I'm only going to get Carolina Wren, so I don't necessarily need to know the right code to use the app. Same with, let's go back to our Black-Throated Green Warbler example. Well, Black-Throated Gray Warbler is super rare here. So while well, it'll show on the list, it's not going to be the one I'm going to tap. I know it's helped me a ton and making it a lot easier doing point counts or doing surveys like the Christmas bird count quickly without having to fiddle with tapping buttons a lot or recalculating numbers on the fly a lot. So if you like this, um, check out the official video by uh, Cornell for the eBird instructions. Maybe you'll learn some other things that are useful. And um, check out the Songbirding podcast if you think the sounds you're hearing around here are interesting and you'd like to hear more about birding by ear.